closer I am to find Closer I am to find I wrote Closer to Find um, I was actually, my family we used to vacation up in Vermont at this really rustic cabin and I was sitting there on the front with my guitar. I took my guitar everywhere I went. And I was thinking a lot about like the insularity of the academic world and where we go, like sources we go to make us feel better, what we seek as people to get understanding. And uh, I just listed a bunch of things that I was thinking of at that time. And I still remember that moment of riding closer to find really clearly. My name's Amy Ray. My name's Emily Saliers. We're the Indigo Girls. This came out um, in 1989, so it's it's been around for a while. Yikes. Um, I know, yikes, right. But it's kind of a sing-along, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Close to fine. One, two, ready, and... started singing that we were just out of co- I mean just barely out of college and um, we're both probably caught up in that intellectual space that's so uh, isolated and um, privileged it's a great rite of passage to kind of think about that song in some ways as you grow up and whatever your experiences are you know whether they be whatever just whatever you do to go through that gives you maturity you know your apprentice apprenticeships in life <laughs> That's insatiable And like this has a call It's hard to hear Personally, I don't ever think any of our songs are Well, I can't speak for Amy's I'll say for mine I don't ever think This song's gonna be huge Because really, we're a grassroots band We started as a bar band We still feel like a bar band I think we write uh, from a pretty organic place Just our observations of life around us through our own lenses. As far as Closer to Fine and in our early days and what we were thinking and how long we, I mean, honestly, we just took it a day at a time and had like kind of short term goals. And I mean, in our wildest dreams, we could not have pictured any of this. So it's like um, kind of a gift to still be doing it and. It's a blessing and and to still have a song that resonates with people um, of every age and, um, you know, we're lucky. Well, I think today the way that Closer to Fine lyrics might speak to what we're going through now is that we have, like, I'll speak particularly to what's going on with um, racial, uh, what do you even call it, terrible racism in this country and upheaval and the result of black Americans and people of color, indigenous peoples, Hispanic people, Asian Americans, whatever it is, whatever those people are, they're tired of this, and particularly for black Americans, 400 years. And so for me, I want to seek uh, the wisdom of contemporary black leaders or even historical black leaders like Martin Luther King Jr. or Malcolm X or Angela Davis. I want to seek uh, that, those sources. So I think that um, it, the words to Closer to Find are applicable in that we're always still searching, and uh, particularly in today's societal upheaval, and there has to be change. Um, I think those lyrics can apply to that. I think my advice for women songwriters and young girls, you know, it's probably the same advice I'd give to anybody, which is just, um, it's really important to practice and to, I mean, my only regret is, is that I didn't practice enough. And I think girls have this opportunity now because things are kind of busting wide open, I think, in a way, but they're not quite busted open yet. And there's still a lot of need for feminism and, and work against sexism and trying to just kind of be your best self and and be strong and hold your head up. So what helps with that is that just to polish your skills 
because then you feel really confident about, about yourself, you know. And I also would say to young girls or young women to try to find your own voice. I know that I grew up really trying to emulate uh, women singer-songwriters, um, but it feels really good when you find your own voice. So I would say do it for love and find out what it is that you really want to say. I'm